From playing ping pong with money's head to eyeing a return to the boxing ring, this is why Conor McGregor claims he can beat Floyd Mayweather in a rematch. The Notorious actually thought he was dominating the best ever when the two clashed in the big money fight back in 2017. Conor recently took to Twitter to tell the world how good he was in that fight. He went as far to say that he was playing ping pong with Floyd's head during their match and that he almost knocked the pretty boy out. The Irishman then continued, claiming that he could make some real adjustments to his boxing skills and come out stronger in the rematch to finish the job. According to Conor, if anyone thinks otherwise, they're just being silly. When a fan responded to the former UFC champ that Mayweather would kick his 10 times out of 10, McGregor clapped back by saying that money can't kick or read. Obviously, this was an attack on Floyd's inability to actually read too well, on top of his ability to only use his hands in a fight. I don't know where Connor comes up with these ideas. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. He was getting owned in that match. It's apparent that Mayweather might have allowed the Notorious to do something in the opening rounds, but from round four onwards, it was all pretty boy. After letting Connor tire himself out with his wild punches and hammer fists, Floyd just started dismantling him. Before you ask, yes, McGregor was actually throwing hammer fists in a boxing match. Anyway, as the match went on, Connor was just completely gassed out, and the money could land whatever he wanted to at that point. That power right of his kept finding the sweet spot on McGregor's chin, over and over again. He literally kept knocking the snot out of the Irishman and had him up against the ropes. The truth is, Connor had no answer to Floyd's boxing prowess, and the best ever just picked him apart piece by piece. It was clear to everyone by the ninth round that the Notorious was completely out of it, and this was when Mayweather really started to open up. When the referee saw that the former UFC double champ was all but done, he decided to step in and stop the fight barely a minute into the 10th round. So Connor claiming he was playing ping pong with his opponent's head makes no sense. He was probably just triggered by an old clip that he saw on Twitter. It showed a body shot that the Notorious landed in round 9, but it was kinda on the belt, so it was called off as a low blow by the match official. Nonetheless, it was a right-handed strike by the Irish mad lad that visibly hurt the best ever. The video probably brought back a lot of memories from McGregor of his glory days. Obviously, the match was a lot different from what he was remembering. But like you guys know, that never stops Connor from praising himself about how great he was. In reality, Mayweather was just toying with him in that ring. He could have finished the fight anytime he wanted to. But a lot of people had showed up to watch that match, and they spent a lot of money on it too, so Floyd just wanted to give the fans a show. That was pretty clear to most of the viewers. Connor was just not a boxer, and he won't ever be on the same level as money, so his thinking that he almost had the best ever is nothing but a stretch. A lot of the fans share the exact same view too. After Connor made his recent claims to beat up Floyd, people took it upon themselves to defend their favorite boxer. A guy tried opening McGregor's eyes to the truth, staring at his face. That Mayweather was actually the one carrying the fight to the later rounds, because he barely threw any punches in the first few rounds. Another comment reminded Connor that Floyd is now almost 50 years old and that he can still dominate him inside the boxing ring. So instead of sticking his nose where it doesn't belong, the Notorious should be focusing on MMA and making his long-awaited return to the octagon. A fan also told him that people still love him, but he can't seriously believe that he can beat Floyd in a boxing match. Even if he allows him a chance at a rematch, money's still gonna knock him around before landing a few finishing touches on him. Maybe Floyd's gonna get another chance at doing that, because Mayweather Promotions is really interested in a rematch. That's right, guys. The CEO of Mayweather Promotions, Leonard Ellerby, recently came forward and admitted that he wants to run back the fight between Floyd and Connor. He was on an episode of the MMA Hour with Ariel Helwani, and he told the host that he has nothing but respect for the UFC and the Notorious. Ellerby revealed that he's always been a huge fan of the promotion and what they do. He added that the original match between the greats of two sports was one of the best events he's ever been a part of, because it was a lot of fun. To be honest, 
Ellerby being this interested in the rerun of the 2017 fight is a great sign. It means that they might seriously be considering making it happen. And that's pretty understandable, too. You see, guys, the original fight made tons of money for everyone involved. It's the second highest grossing fight in the sport's history with nearly $400 million in revenue and is just a little shy of the match between Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. So the rematch is pretty lucrative to both, the notorious as well as Floyd. What's more is that even the best ever has admitted that he wants that fight. While talking to the Daily Mail in 2022, Pretty Boy revealed that he had plans to fight five times in 2023, and he wanted one of those fights to be against Conor. He wasn't sure if that'll be an exhibition match or a pro one, but he'd prefer the former because he doesn't want to take any real punishment. So for him, it makes sense to have fights against McGregor and guys that don't really hit hard, such as YouTubers or UFC guys. That was obviously a backhanded compliment to his former foe, because you can say a lot about Conor, but you know that guy can hit hard. Floyd was just too good for him, his movement was too fluid, and the Notorious couldn't really pin him down. Maybe that's what he meant by it. Who knows? I've got to admit, though, it was a little surprising that Money said this about Conor, because he was full of praises right after their fight. He told the media that he was shocked by the Irishman's skills inside the boxing ring, and he didn't expect his opponent to last 10 rounds like he did. Floyd complimented Mystic Mac for being a hell of a fighter standing up. On the other hand, Connor had his usual, I told you so, attitude. He criticized Mayweather and his corner for doubting his skill set. The Notorious may not have fought like a true boxer, but you have to give him credit where it's due. He did manage to sneak in a couple really good strikes during the match, and he's always been a dangerous striker, so even Floyd had to respect that. It's true that the best ever was never in any real danger, but I can see how he would have been surprised at Connor's actual performance. The question now is whether the Irishman will actually take this fight, because, to be honest, he's been all over the place recently. Mystic Max has been dipping his toes in a lot of areas, saying that he wants to compete at WWE, then showing up inside the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship cage, and then there are his recent claims in boxing as well. Keep in mind that this is all on top of his actual return to UFC's Octagon. There's just not enough time left in 2023 for him to do all of that, so you might think that he's just doing what he does best. Talking When Floyd first said that he wanted to fight Conor again, the Notorious posted a photo of their match on Instagram and captioned it, hashtag not interested, which I completely get. The man wanted to focus on his MMA career. But now he wants to return to the boxing ring? That's just confusing. You see, guys, McGregor told Sky Sports that boxing was his first love in combat sports and that he enjoyed his time in the ring, so he'd want to return to it at some point. He then said that for the near future, he's focusing on his return to the UFC, but is considering boxing for sure, too. And now, just out of nowhere, he wants that rematch against Mayweather just because he saw some old clip on Twitter? You never know what's going on in the mind of the Notorious. Maybe he's just teasing us all, or maybe he's one step ahead of everyone around him. Whatever the case may be, I really hope that these two legends can strike a deal for a rematch. So from eyeing a return to the boxing ring to playing ping pong with Money's head, this is why Conor McGregor claims he can beat Mayweather in a rematch.